hello students welcome to my channel uh, in this video we are going to discuss example 1.7 chapter number 1 introduction and the first law of thermodynamics from the book applied thermodynamics by td stop and mcconkey example statement is air flows steadily at the rate of 0.4 kg per second through an air compressor entering at 6 meter per second with a pressure of 1 bar and a specific volume of 0.85 cubic meter per kilogram and leaving at 4.5 meter per second with a pressure of 6.9 bar and a specific volume of 0.16 cubic meter per kilogram so first of all we will write the given information in the statement mass flow rate of air is 0.4 kg per second air entering to the air compressor with the velocity of c1 and it is 6 meter per second pressure p1 is 1 bar specific volume v1 is 0.85 cubic meter per kilogram and the outlet conditions are c2 is 4.5 meter per second pressure p2 is 6.9 bar and specific volume at outlet is 0.16 cubic meter per kilogram specific internal energy of the air leaving is 88 kJ per kilogram greater than that of the air entering so the difference of specific internal energies at outlet and inlet is equal to 88 kJ per kilogram cooling water in a jacket surrounding the cylinder absorbs heat from the air at the rate of 59 kW that is q dot is 59 kilowatt <clears throat> calculate the power required to drive the compressor we have to find w dot that is the power to drive the compressor and the inlet and outlet pipe cross sectional areas inlet and outlet areas a1 and a2 of the air compressor these three things are required to calculate in this example so now <coughs> simply we will use the general steady flow equation which is m dot into u1 plus c1 square by 2 plus p1 v1 plus q dot plus w dot is equal to m dot into u2 plus c2 square by 2 plus p2 v2 in this equation m dot is mass flow rate u1 is specific volume at inlet c1 is the velocity at inlet p1 is the pressure at inlet and v1 is the specific volume at inlet q dot is the <coughs> heat heat transfer w dot is the power uh, required or power developed u2 is the specific internal energy at outlet c2 is the velocity at exit p2 is the pressure at exit and v2 is the specific volume at exit this is the diagram of air compressor where in this uh, in this equation the heights of the pipes are at same position that is z1 is equal to z2 in other words the height of the pipes are 
same and we will ignore the height of the pipes so now calculating the kinetic energies at inlet c1 square by 2 is equal to c1 is 6 meter per second so 6 multiplied by 6 by 2 the value of c1 square by 2 is 0 0.018 kilojoule per kilogram let's suppose this is equation a similarly the value of kinetic energy at exit is 4.5 c2 is 4.5 multiply 4.5 divided by 2 so if we simplify this we get 0 0.0101 kilojoule per kilogram similarly p1 v1 is p1 is 1 bar converting it to pascal we will multiply it in this per 5 and small v1 is 0 0.85 cubic meter per kilogram so when we simplify this we get 85 kilojoule per kilogram similarly p2 v2 is p2 is 6.9 again converting to pascal v2 is 0 0.16 so we get 110.4 kilojoule per kilogram the difference of specific internal energy is 88 kilojoule per kilogram q dart this is the heat absorbed which is provided to the system that's why it is negative according according to thermodynamic convention so q dot plus w dot rearranging equation a this equation will become equation b so if we rearrange equation a this q dot is minus because this is the heat absorbed so rearranging equation a it becomes q dot plus w dot is equal to m dot into u2 minus u1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 plus c2 square by 2 minus c1 square by 2 so q dot is minus 59 w dot is unknown we are interested to find the value of this the power required for the compressor to drive m dot is 0 0.4 u2 minus u1 is 88 p2 v2 is 110.4 p1 v1 is 85 plus c2 square by 2 value is 0 0.101 and c1 square by 2 value is 0 0.018 simplifying this we get w dot is equal to 104.4 kilowatt the value of w dot is positive because this is the power required to drive the compressor so this is input to the system that's why its value is positive similarly uh, if we are going to find the values of uh, inlet pipe cross-sectional area and outlet cross-sectional area of the pipe so for that we will simply use the continuity equation m dot is equal to c a by v so to find uh, a1 rearranging it for a1 is equal to it will become m dot small v1 divided by c1 so if we put the values m dot is 0 0.4 uh, small v1 is 0 0.85 and c1 is 6 so we get 0 0.057 square meter so this is the inlet cross sectional area of the pipe 0 0.057 square square meter and similarly for uh, outlet pipe cross-sectional area uh, again use using that equation so a2 will be equal to m dot v2 by c2 so m dot is again 0 0.4 v2 is 0 0.16 cubic meter per kilogram and c2 is 4.5 so simplifying it we get 0 0.014 
square meters. So outlet pipe cross sectional area is 0.014 square meters. So this is the uh, overall discussion of the solution example 1.7. In next video, uh, we will start examples of chapter number two uh, about working fluid. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.